Hello and welcome to chapter four, lesson six. Today we're going to model regrouping. Just like when we regroup when we multiply or add, we regroup when we subtract, we don't have enough to subtract and we regroup when we add when we have too many. Um, we have, can make a 10 or a 100. We also regroup in multiplying. So sometimes when we multiply, we need to regroup to multiply numbers. Regrouping uses place value to exchange equal amounts when renaming a number. This is just like the same thing that we do when we're adding and subtracting. Um, so let's get started. All right, so if we use Blaze 10 blocks to show this model, and we wanted to show 3 times 26, okay? So if we find the ones and count them up, we have 18 ones. So I, ha I can look at that as 1, 10, 1, 10, and 8 ones. Let me scooch this up a touch. Okay. All right, so I know that I have 8 ones. And then I'm going to take these six and four and regroup them to make a new 10. Okay, so these are gone now. I made a new 10 here. So now if I look at how many 10s do I have? Two, four, six, seven. I have seven 10s. So three times 26 is 72. I always like doing this on, uh, on our own. So let's try one on our own without the, the base 10 blocks already out there for us. Okay, so I guess the base 10 blocks are still there, but um, four times 31. Use base 10 blocks to model four times 31. That's because this time we're gonna look at regrouping the tens to make 100. So 10 tens make 100, so let's take a look here. So if we find the ones, one, two, three, four, I have four ones. I don't have it more than 10, so I'm just gonna have four ones, right? So now if I look at my tens, I have three, six, nine, 12. I have 12 tens. Okay, so if I take the three, six, nine, 10, if I trade out those 10 tens, I can make 100. So I'm gonna regroup 100 and then I would have two tens. Okay, so now I'm looking at 100, two tens, four ones. Um, so 100, two tens, four ones. I have my product of 124. Okay, two times 38. Okay, 30, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So if I'm looking at how many ones do I have, I notice here I have five, ten. So I'm going to regroup those to make a new ten stick. Okay. So these guys, they are gone. Do, 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 do. Right, they're gone because I regrouped them over here to make this new 10. Now if I count my ones, I have three, six. I have six ones and three, six, seven, seven tens. So that means two times 38 is 76. Okay, what about this one? Four times 52, oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Four groups. Okay, one more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Now our ones are going to be easy. Two, four, six, eight. I have eight ones. Now I have to look at these tens. So I can regroup. I've got five, ten. There's a hundred. X, X. Okay. I regrouped those, five, those 10 tens to make 100. Again, I've got five, 10. I can X those out and make an equal trade to make that 100. Now I'm left with zero tens because I made two 
hundreds. Or another cool way to look at it is look at here, 20. How many tens did I have? 5, 10, 15, 20. I had 20 tens. Okay, so 208 is going to be my answer for 4 times 52. Okay, kind of a cool way to look at this. Okay, so here we go. 2 times 46. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Notice how I like to group my tens and my ones in groups of five, because then it's easier for me to see, hey, I've got five and five, that makes a 10. Okay, I need one more group of 46. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, when I'm looking here, I notice I've got five ones, five ones, and that easily makes a new 10. So these guys are gonzo. So how many ones does that leave me with? One. Two, two ones. How many tens? Four, eight, nine. Nine tens. So two times 46 is 92. So I took these guys and I made this one. Okay. Three times 38. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, when I'm looking at my tens, I see five, ten. So I'm going to X those guys out to make a new ten. And I bet I could make another. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. X those guys out to make another 10. And then I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4. Left with 4 ones. Now if I count my 10s, 3, 6, 9, 10. Oh man. I can X out these 10 10s to make a hundred. Oh, this is getting kind of messy. And I've got one ten left over and one hundred. So equals one hundred fourteen. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to stop there in hopes that this video won't be super long. And hopefully we've got this. Uh, once we do it numerically with just numbers, it kind of makes a little more sense. We're not doing so many drawing and regrouping and, and that sort of thing. So I'm excited for that, but thanks for watching to the end, and we'll see you next time.